Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time we climbed up all the way onto the Woodland Tower and uh, accessed this part of the map. Um, and this time uh, we uh, we saw a little stable down there that's right there. And uh, we're going to go to it. Um, but before we do that, I just want to kind of, I guess, apologize for the lack of uploads recently. Um, I've been trying to start a stream setup because I really like to start streaming over on Twitch, but um, I'm having a little trouble with that, so hopefully I can get it started within the next month or so, but I am having troubles, so if I don't, that's why. Um, but when I, if and when I do, I will definitely inform, uh, I'll make a video on YouTube saying that, yes, I have started streaming on Twitch. Anyways, here we have... Um, a stable down there and now uh in the time between this episode and the last episode uh i've been practicing some breath of the wild and uh normally i would just jump off and paraglide down but i learned a trick um that's really cool uh, some people call it a wind bomb but i call it a boomy zoomy you basically take both bombs launch up in the air and it launches you super fast so you have to pull out your paraglider and then boom you just, it can, okay, it can, it can let you cross places that you never thought you could get across. It's so helpful. Um, so I will probably be definitely using more boomy zoomies in the future just to, you know, make these, uh, these, these episodes a bit, you know, quicker. So I don't have to just cross entire canyons, but here we have Beetle. He doesn't really, uh, have anything, probably. We just have, uh... A hearty, uh, that's three hundred dollars. Not three hundred. One hundred. I have three hundred. We'll buy like three arrows. That 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 sounds fine. Wow. Okay. No, go away, please. Please, I do not like. I do not like talking to you. Um. Ooh, more wood. It does. It is raining, so it would be nice if we slept until day. But I don't think we need to. This stable. It doesn't look. Uh, a guy here. Ah, uh, I just don't know what to do. What's wrong? Oh. Listen, if you want to get anywhere in this life, you gotta have cash and catch ya. And the only way to go to that in, the, in this age is to go to Stay With Me, Hyrule Castle. <laughs> I know, it sounds crazy, but the rumor has it that it's full of abandoned treasure and weapons. They're just sitting there, free for the taking. Well, if you can get past all of the monsters, that, uh, that is... Uh... Go for it. <laughs> You're right. I can't let a smoke and hot rumor like this go to waste. I just gotta act on it, bud. There's a dock on the north side of Hyrule Castle, see? And I hear you can get inside the castle from there. There's also an ancient shrine around there. Smells like treasure to me. Stinks like it, even. Hmm. Of course, no one I know who's gone to Hyrule Castle has come back. Probably because they're too busy being rich. I just need to come up with a solid plan. Then I'll be living the good life. Okay. We have a journal here. Uh, I'll read it. Tracy here, awake or asleep. My quest for juicy rumors never rests. Ever. Doesn't ev any everyone gossip in their sleep? Today, I've got a hot rumor fresh from the mill that is, wait for it, an exclusive. And that special topic is... the mis Oh, I just punched the mic. The mysterious Korok mask. They say if, you're, if you pour enough love into an object, a spirit will inhabit it. Something that creepy's just gotta be true. And apparently, this Korok mask really is inhabited by a spirit. If you wear it, it supposedly shakes and makes adorably weird noises every now and then. Maybe it does that to tell you when tell you when the friends are nearby and you can't see them? Who knows? Some say the, sh the treasure chest is containing the mask is hidden in a tree hollow in the forest that makes people lose their way. Hmm, sounds like a tough place to find something. Luckily, the word is... There's a convenient trick for finding your way. Tracy's recommendation, five stars. Those two things are definitely, both of them, one of them's more of a mid-game thing, the other's more of a late-game thing. We might be exploring them today. It depends on what we, I don't know. But first things first, we probably should get this shrine. There's always a shrine outside um, a stable or at least from my experience that maybe there is like a stable or two that doesn't have a shrine outside them but um it it appears to be another shrine outside this one so we can just walk on over 
I, I do. Oh wait, the fire thing. Is I always like saving my uh, elemental weapons, just because, like, uh, especially the fire ones. Because if your fire ones break, you have nothing to light a fire with, which can get really annoying. Um, you might have to waste up some of your arrows, which also could get very annoying. But we have the Miro Shaw's shrine. Uh, I don't remember the puzzle in this one, but uh, it's probably fine, I guess. Hopefully it's not going to take me like 10 years, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We have 33 uh, shrines done, meaning that we only have one shrine over on us, so this will not be enough to... Um... Oh, no. I know what shrine this is. When we do this, this won't be enough to get another upgrade, but... Oh, this one is actually the worst. This is literally the worst shrine in the game. Uh, Small Ant even made a whole video on this shrine and how... Just dumb it is. Okay, so what you gotta do? Bring out the stasis, and then they give you an iron sledgehammer because you're gonna need it. Um, what you're supposed to do is hit this ball with stasis, and just hit this guy a bunch. And I never know how many times to hit it. And then you wanna hit this with an arrow. Oh no! Oh yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, uh, arrow strats aren't good for this one, um, actually, so, okay. so it looks like we're gonna have to actually, so, yeah, what I was thinking is, if you hit it with an arrow, it makes a, like, a straight path, so you can, like, directly aim it, but with here, you, yeah, that, that wouldn't really work, so let's just hit this a bunch, and definitely actually, that's, that's a pretty good aim, that's a pretty good aim, actually, that might, uh, that go in oh no we're gonna have to hit it a bit more i'm always i'm uh, with this round I'm, I'm like worried to hit it a lot because the thing is your your sledgehammer only has so much durability oh, shoot. Eh, that's not gonna happen. no no see oh oh maybe maybe Let's go! First, I got oh, that. That took me uh, less time than I thought it would, because that giant sometimes takes long, a long, long time. So I'm glad that it didn't. But over here, now this room opens up. This one's not as difficult. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep. I don't want to put durability on anything else. I don't know how many times we need to hit that, but that yeah, that would to be enough. Um, and the thing with shrines is that there's always like a little bonus chest in them well in this one basically you have to do what you did but again and harder if you go down here i'll show it off i don't know if i'll actually do it you can get another I think, sledgehammer just in case the first one breaks yeah okay it's fine. and you have to bamboozle it through here I'm not exactly sure how, but I, I'm pretty sure I've, I've done it before. But... Oh no, I had it. Oh, wait, did that? No, okay, that was probably strong enough, but just aimed in the wrong direction. in here and we'll get the orb yeah 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 your resourcefulness and overcoming it's uh, i'm so cool i know you don't have to tell me i'm just i'm just that cool uh and there we go may the goddess smile upon you as well now i'm debating whether we go for something or something else because we spoke to the guy in the the what's it called stable and he said to go to Hyrule Castle but the book and the rumor mill told us there's a little object hiding in the forest that what was it what was it exactly yeah in a hollow of a terrifying tree in a forest that causes those who enter to lose their way this great Hyrule forest is right here so that's a forest we could check out but i th think at least for today i know it's hyrule castle i know it is but 
I think we're going to go for what's behind Hyrule Castle. I forgot exactly what the guy said, but I'm pretty sure he said something like behind Hyrule Castle um, in like the docks. And if we just get on our horse, we can. Oh, wait. Wait a second. I just realized. Who needs horses? When you have wind bombs. All right, yeah. I, this is I, I've never I've never wind bombed into Hyrule Castle. Let's let's try this. Let's try this. Okay. So we're on the tower. It's always towers are probably some of the best places to, to do it off of. We're at full health. Uh, sometimes I mess it up, but I feel like I pretty much perfected by now. That wasn't the best one, but it still did the trick. Look, still did the job. Xavier's down there somewhere. Oh hey, I kind of see him. He's very smart. Wait, is he, is he next to the Lozalvo? I think he is. Oh, uh, whatever. They, they, they've despawned by now. Um, we keep going over here. Um, this is gonna be the first time we enter Hyrule Castle in the, uh, in this, in this, in this play of Let's. So, uh, this is actually kind of a, a big one. Um, we are gonna, we're gonna see what happens when we enter Hyrule Castle. There is something else I'd like to do in Hyrule Castle, but we may focus on that later. Um, before we beat the game, but uh, right now I just want to get this little thing. Obviously, we're not gonna we're not gonna kill Ganon right now. We could, but I, I would like to at least finish the four divine beasts before we did that. Um, oh, no, I, I messed it up. Yeah, and if you fail it, you do take an, uh, some extra damage, which is you know, it's tolerable. It's, it's fine. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. We, we, there's food everywhere. We can just we can eat that. Do I hear? Oh, I thought I heard maybe uh, not not zoo bats. Keese, that's what they're called. Uh, we're up here now. Where exactly is it? There? No, wait. No, that's not. I think it's. We might have to head. Oh yeah, I think if I remember, it's down there. Okay. We'll head over this way, and then I think we can boomy zoomy right into that. There is a guardian right there. I don't like that. And there's wolves chasing me. Great. Um. Okay. Okay. I think what we do is we just. Do Here we are. We're, we have entered Hyrule Castle, as you see in the bottom right. It kind of acts as a dungeon of sorts, because it, it brought up the dungeon map. Oh, where exactly do I need to go? Shoot. Okay. I completely forget. But I think something happens once you step foot in the, in the castle. And we're in Hyrule Castle. All right. Um, we're not going to take on Ganon right now, but I believe if we head this way and try to avoid... Yeah, this place is lurking with guardians, so definitely want to avoid them. I believe if we walk just this way... Okay, we're getting committed. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, there's another guy right there. It's, it's cool, it's cool. We head right in here. Boom. There's a cool little room. The docks. Let's use... Freeze me with this. And then... And then we can... Boom! He's gone. He's dead. He's just deceased. Uh, there's a great flame blade right here. Actually, I'm gonna... I'm gonna uh, just to fill out the Hyrule... Uh, not, not Hyrule Historia. Hyrule Compendium. I'll take a picture of it. Um, and we have two of these. Let's get rid of one and pick up the flame blade, just because we don't need to. Uh, if we go over here, there... Get his, oh, we have shock arrows. And th that's our first Losalfos tail? Really? Okay, well, I guess that's a technically a new monster part. Maybe okay. Um, over here, there is another dude. 
but I... Well, we could blow him up. I don't know if it's worth it, though. Okay, he's noticed me. Let's just keep, let's keep walking, let's keep walking. Uh, over here, there's another dude, and a piece. We can take care of him. That. Oh, there's two. Okay, one well, is the second one. That's not... I mean, I kind of want to... I do kind of want to see what happens if we shoot that. We have 13 bomb arrows. That's fine. That did, like, nothing. He, he, took, he took, like, no damage from that. Really. Stop it with the keys. I don't... I don't care. I do not care. Let's blow this up. Blow this up. See what's inside. Ooh, a, a carrot. Nice. Ooh, great. I love carrots. That's gonna be very, very useful. Ooh, actually, big hearty truck. That actually, that actually, that might actually be good. Um, especially if we cook it. Uh, if you can continue going up here, there's a little empty space here, and um, big old I don't know, like a pot, an unlit torch, I don't know. wild berry. That's a, that's a first wild berry of the game. That's okay. Oh my gosh, that actually that, that are fleet lotus seeds. I thought there was something there. All right, that's probably gonna be good enough. That's probably a good job. Over here, now you might be wondering why did why did they give us that great flame bait before? Well, if you do that. It's a shrine. I think I don't know if the guy in the in the stable mentioned that, but yeah, here's another shrine right inside Hyrule Castle. Now this is the only shrine inside of Hyrule Castle, so um, and it's actually pretty easy to get because all you have to do is just come from the back. So you don't even have to like I killed one Lizalfos and like four keys. So and I, I I didn't even need to kill the Lizalfos. I could have just kept walking, but um. Yeah, very easy shrine to get, although it is hidden inside Hyrule Castle, it's, yeah, if you just go, if, if you go from the front, then I, I wouldn't, I would not recommend that, but from the back, yeah, you're fine, you're fine. However, the shrine itself is a bit harder as it's a test of strength, not only that, it, okay, I thought that would come up with a, it's a, it's a major test of strength. Um... We do, however, have these Ancient Battle Axe Plus Plus, so that actually might make it a lot easier. Um, and here we have it. The new... It's, it's a guy. I, I can confirm. It is a, uh, a robot. Now, with this one, um, you see, there's no pillars, but you could probably tell. There's these magnesis things in the ground, so you can use these sort of as shields, but um, there, I would... I was completely pressing the wrong button there. Um, you, you don't really want to like just you, you want to use them when he does this. That will make him ram into it, get him vulnerable, and then you bring out the ancient battle axe plus plus and absolutely just become a spinning blade blade, Beyblade and dominate this guy. Oh, look at that! It's badly damaged. Do I even care? No. Okay, I try to. It's fine. I, I think I want this to break because, um, as you saw, he actually also has a, an ancient battle axe plus plus, so it will be fine because I'll just get one when I beat him anyway. So we can do this though. Got in there. Keep slashing that up. Oh no. Okay. Let's try to. him, let's bring out the halberd, and then uh, plus, oh wait, is he gonna do the thing actually, I might, I might just blow up this bomb, so it's not bad. okay, now he's gonna do the thing, so I'm just gonna shoot him a bit, this easy game, oh wait, did that kill, that's gonna kill actually, I, I was about to bring up the magnesis thing, but no, I didn't need to, we could just kill him right there and then, alright, that's, uh, that's pretty cool.
Now, let's go over... Oh, pick up all the good stuff. Look at all that. Alright, that's good. That's good. Um, unfortunately, you can't boomy zoom just on the ground. You do need to be on something, so... It would make it very much easier to quickly get over there, but... Uh, it, it, we, we just we physically can't do it. Uh, but now we have another one of these, another one of these, and now we have actually two Guardian Sword Plus bosses, so we might use the first one we have just because we, we have another one. Flame Blade, we already have a Flame Blade, though I have used it a bit. Uh, mm, I'm thinking we, I kind of want to keep Let's just get rid of this. We'll, we'll, we'll just basically replace it. Uh, yeah, I feel like I feel like that's probably the best decision there. We'll just replace it because that probably has used some durability. I'm thinking, so we can just that uh, just get an entirely new uh, set of durability. Over here, your triumph. You're so cool. Yeah, uh, spirit orb. Nice. Now we have three. So now we need one more until our next upgrade. And, uh, we're gonna... Well, actually, I do want to show you one more thing. But, we gotta get through this loading screen first. 35 shrines. How far... What is this? This is like episode 30-something? Maybe 31? It's pretty... We're, we've, we've done a lot of these, and we already have... What? One Divine Beast done? We're, we're making progress. We're, we are in Hyrule Castle right now. This is the final, like, place you're supposed to be. Um, but... Uh, you could, I could just, like, walk out, but I am kind of pretty deep into the place. So, um, before I actually leave the area, there is, there is a leave area button. Um, I do want to go a little deeper. Um, over here, oh. Apple, you know, you gotta get, I usually don't, like, slash those boxes with, like, a sword or anything. Just because I feel like... It, it wastes dura weapon durability. I, I I literally have bombs that accomplish the same thing. Um, sure, like the stuff might go a little, like a little crazy. But now this is the library. This is I, I don't know what exactly happened here in the lore, but uh, we do want to make quick work because these dudes are pretty high level, I would say. So we're gonna want to block off that. And this is the King's Study. Uh, there's going to be some good stuff in here. I believe 300 gold rupees. Yeah, this is... Uh, ooh, the Royal... That's... That, this. Okay. This might be one of the best shields in the entire game. So I'm glad we got that. Um, and here is actually King Rome's Journal. The writings of Rome Bosphorus Hyrule. Today, my, I, I honestly don't care. Uh, you can You can just... Play the game yourself, get it to the place, and if you really want to, or you just look it up, what, what's what's in that journal, but I honestly don't care. But yeah, there, that, that's, that, the, the, the shield, the Royal Guard Shield, one of the best shields in the game. Like, um, probably not the best, the, the best is also in here. What is this? Oh, hey, a fruitcake, oh, cool. You can learn how to make fruitcake. Um, but, I would definitely recommend going, because it's, it's not even that hard. You don't even have to fight these guys. You just uh, avoid them like I did. Um, but I don't... Oh, hey, okay, it's a button. I don't think I can really get anywhere else from this uh, library, so I think what we're going to do is just press that leave area button, and we'll just teleport out of here. Now, you can't... Uh, since, since this is technically a dungeon, you can't just teleport to like a, an area you want. It, uh, it always teleports you to a specific area when you press that button. But um, from there, then you can teleport to any place you want. Now, here is where you're supposed to enter Hyrule Castle for the first time. Um, here we are in Hyrule Castle Town Ruins. But uh, we kind of went in from a separate way. Uh, the Blood Moon is going to play. Blah, blah, blah. I actually don't know if we seen the cutscene for when the Blood Moon plays a second time, so I'll just let this play. The Blood Moon rises once again. Please be careful. <coughs> okay, it's a bit shorter version of the first one, uh, but from now on I will skip that just because it's like... 
it's the same thing every time. Uh, the first time it's slightly different, and then from then on it's just the same cutscene. So uh, here we are in Central Square, and I believe up here is a Korok. Oh, there's a Guardian right there. Hello, buddy. No, there's not even a Korok here. There's not even a Korok. Actually, I guess I could use this time to show my Aryan skills with the Royal Guard Shield. Ah, do I, do I want to fight? The, do I want to fight this Guardian? Yeah, anyways, basically the lore of this place is that this is basically the first like place that was struck by the calamity when it happened which is why it's it's all ruins. it is all ruins uh there's a lot of malice this is like the place that was struck the most um but yeah okay i think we'll we'll, we'll teleport away from here um uh which where do i want to go we could try to find that mask i think i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go try to find that mask in the woods but we're gonna do that next episode so um that's where we're going to end the episode. I hope you all had a great time watching. And next time, we're going to go into the great Hyrule Forest and see what exactly this, um, I think they said it was a mask is. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do that next time. See you guys then.